there beer tubers welcome back to maxwell starters beer review tonight i'm going to introduce you to my best friend man's best friend from pickaroons from the northampton brewery up in ferguson uh, this one is an english style porter uh five percent abv uh this is a well-rounded porter brewed to be a surly assertively roasty and toasty with an approachably pleasant body at once soothing and invigorating yeah, Northampton Brewing Company, New Brunswick, it says it's from Batch 1540, uh, packaged on August 17th, 2011. So this beer, at the time of this recording, um, is about two weeks old, if that. Yeah, two weeks old, though. Anyway, yeah, uh, without further ado, why don't we take a look at it with my BB Barfly. Pop the cap here. Got it. Or in my Guinness glass. Now I won't fit the entire glass, so I'll have to do my best. And as you can tell, it's very dark and it has a gratuitous chocolate brown head like a mocha colored head like like a chocolate like a mocha milkshake or a mocha chino or one of those frappuccinos you get over at starbucks um so light tinges of ruby red come in from the bottom i don't know if you can see that nah no nah, whatever hmm. for the most part almost no light gets through it at all it looks more like a stout than a full porter, than a than a porter. Usually a porter would have a little bit more light traveling through, but hey, I don't mind. I like my dark beers. I suppose there is a little bit of red coming around the edge if you hold it right up to a light. Quite a bit there. Head's dying off rather slowly, but it had some good head retention. As you can see, where it bubbled up over the top and it stayed in one spot. <laughs> I like when beers do that. If I add a little more here, see what happens. And stay. Good boy. All right. So it looks nice. I, it really looks gorgeous. Um, let's give it a sniff. Mmm. Some real nice toasted malt, uh, roasted malt, espresso kind of smells as well as a nice chocolatey note. Mm. Oh, it smells good. It's It smells like gourmet coffee with a tiny bit of espresso uh, from a roasted malt perspective. Um, but it's mainly that chocolatey backbone. It smells a lot like Young's Double Chocolate Stout, to be honest. And that's probably because of the amount of chocolate malts that was used in the brew. Hmm. Well, without further ado, let's get to the point that I've certainly been looking for. Um, tasting. Hmm. Nice. It's got a nice roasty malt backbone, an espresso malt taste, with a slight bit of like citrus hoppy tang. The main body of the beer is nice taste of coffee and chocolate malt. Nice roasty malty goodness. Mm. It's not like it's an overly complex beer or anything. I mean, mainly the tastes are made up of, of, of chocolate, a little bit of coffee, maybe a touch of caramel, a little bit of diacetyl or something in the background, which is typical of Picaroon's brews. It's very thin, this one. It's more present than some of their others. 
along with a citrusy hoppy tang in the very back. But it's not to the point where it's cloying or absolutely noticeable. It blends in with the roasted malt very well. Mmm. Maybe a subtle hint of uh, a, a nice smoky flavor. Mouthfeel wise, it's nice and well carbonated, smooth, almost creamy, not quite. Um, and it finishes off quite dry. Mmm. Yeah, that's really nice. Anyway, I'm going to sit down with this one for a bit. Be right back. And we're back with Van's Best Friend. So what did I think? This has to be one of my favorite porters of all. Uh, I love this beer. This is one of my favorites. It's got a nice chocolatey malt background, backbone, nice coffee taste. Just a tiny hint of hops and it's easily drinkable as you can see. Mm. As far as it goes with the porter style, it perf it's a perfect fit if you ask me. Um, I like this even better than Fuller's London Porter, the can version. Um, and it would compare evenly with the bottle from what I recall. Uh, I, we used to get the bottle here. so Anyway, as such I'm going to give this a 4.5 out of 5. Definitely recommended, highly recommended, and in my opinion, one of Pickaroon's best brews. I would definitely pick this up if you have a chance, and you owe it to yourself if you're a dark beer fan to give this one a try. Anyway, 4.5 out of 5 for me. Um, that's it for this episode of Maxwell Stars Beer Review. Thanks for watching, and tune in next time. We have more beer to come. Talk to you later. Bye.